Well, good morning, everyone. And as always, I am your host, Chi Town Zone, for Wednesday, January the 8th, 2020. And again, this is a follow up to yesterday's breaking news, where I'm sure many of you may already be aware. It was yesterday, 5 30 Eastern Time, where the Pentagon released a statement stating that Iran has fired ballistic missiles into Iraq, striking two military bases there, from what sources are gone on to state. But as of right now, from what we do know at this time, that there are no reported U.S. casualties as of right now which is the best news we can possibly hear uh, from what sources have stated that the military knew ahead of time that Iran was planning to launch uh, ballistic missiles of some sort into their area. So from what we do understand, they evacuated the area for their own safety at this time. So again, that is the greatest news from what we do know as of right now. But we are currently watching and awaiting as President Trump is set to address the nation at 11 Eastern, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time as of right now. Many are already speculating about what would he say? Uh, will he declare war with Iran or will he try to come to some sort of a peace deal? No one you know, really knows as of right now, but we can only wait and see. But Iran has vowed uh, that, you know, they will retaliate w uh, by uh, sending rockets into uh, Israel in the event that U.S. retaliates in return, you know, given, you know, last night's rocket strike there in Iraq. But again, we can only wait and see at this time. But of course, I will be leaving links in regards below. Uh, we seen footage not too long ago where Iranians took to the streets after the rocket strikes. They're shouting down with America and down with Israel, waving Iranian flags and whatnot. But again, uh, Iran's supreme leader also went on to sit, state last night that this is a slap in the face and has warned the U.S. again that if we retaliate, they are going to go after Israel next, guys. But we can only wait and see as we're currently waiting President Trump to address the nation once again. But the article here reads, guys, uh, while the attacks were the latest escalation with the Tehran and the aftermath of the U.S. drone strike that killed the top Iranian general, initial assessments showed no U.S. casualties, a U.S. military official in Baghdad told Fox News. So again, guys, that is the greatest news so far from what our understanding is. But also... President Trump went on to also tweet last night at when he uh, got the news from his cabinet. Uh, All is well, the president tweeted, Tuesday night, missiles launched from Iran at two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damage taking place now. So far, so good. But again, we can only wait and see as President Trump is set to address the nation very soon, guys. Where the article here further reads, the president's upcoming address comes after Iran fired as many as 15 ballistic missiles into Iraq. Ten missiles hit uh, the In Assad Air Base, which houses U.S. troops on one missile. And of course, one missile hit a U.S. military base in Erbil, and four missiles fell to hit their targets, according to a U.S. military spokesman for Central Command responsible for the American forces in the Middle East. But again, guys, this is what we do know as of right now. No, no military personnel were injured in any way as of right now again could this been done on purpose you know did they really want to you know try to hurt military personnel you know are they trying to you know play with president trump we can only wait and see to see if he's weak will he back down one can only wait and see i highly doubt it but you know if not you know we, we can only again you know watch you know keep a very close eye on this you know will president trump you know back down we don't know right now will president trump declare war on iran again we can only wait, guys. But uh, again, um, the article here further reads, on late Tuesday, the attacks unfolded in two waves about an hour apart. As many of you may already know, in recent days, and in response from the Iranian threats and actions, the Department of Defense has taken all appropriate measures to safeguard our personnel and partners. You know, again, this is you know terrific news. We know that uh, many of uh, President Trump's Secret Service as well took up arms there at the White House in the event that anything should happen, given we do know that there are sleeper cells here in our country as we speak, and all Iran has to do is just give them the green light, and they could very easily attack, guys. But again, um, we are currently watching and awaiting as we speak, as President Trump once again is set to address the nation very shortly, guys. But once he does so, I will be bringing you the latest breaking news once he does so again, guys, and giving you my thoughts on his uh, his speech. But again, um. Again, this is what we do know as of right now. Again, no U.S. military personnel are among any of those... Uh 
casualties as of right now. From what sources have indicated, there are no casualties whatsoever but com compared to last night where some sources went on to state that there are reports to be casualties among Iraqi uh, military personnel there. But of course, from what we are understanding at this time, there are no casualties, again, reported at this time, which is terrific news. But again, our thoughts and prayers are with all of our military personnel there, including the Iraqi citizens as well at this time, guys. But of course, we're going to continue to do our very best to monitor this as this continues to unfold. And of course, we are again waiting President Trump's speech to the nation at this time on last night's uh, ballistic missile uh, strike against uh, Iraq last night from Iran. But again, of course, I am your host, Shy Town Zone, and for those of you again watching for the first time, do feel free to subscribe and be sure to hit that little notification bell. And with that being said, everyone, God bless and do stay tuned.